preparing for, you said for months. Kind of walk us through the process. Yeah, so this process really started late in April when we knew that this was going to be a possibility. It started literally just playing with different seating models and seeing what kind of configurations you could do with the beginning process being always how do we maintain social distance it all started with that how do you maintain the six foot gaps throughout you know vertically horizontally in every direction and then it got into okay what kind of seating blocks do you want fours twos you really had to look at what is our normal allotment of, of blocks that we have for our donors so that's where it started it never was a hey can we get to this number can we get to this percentage it was always about letting the, the science dictate that and whatever it yielded, it yielded. So it really, the next step was laying out the stadium, basically drawing it, getting maps of the stadium, doing different configurations, working through it and saying, okay, let's use this methodology, let's use this, keep doing different methods, seeing which method would yield the most, you know, because you can look at it a bunch of different ways where you stack them with gaps in between, where you stagger them. And ultimately we found the staggered approach where you almost went stair steps, a block, skip a row block and, and going that way was the most efficient. So it took a little trial and error and then it basically got a group together and said, all right guys, here's what, here's our method. Now let's split up, let's let every single step of the stadium on paper. Um, and then the thought process was, okay, now that we have that, how are we gonna designate and let people know where they can and cannot sit? So the easiest thought was, let's use the chair backs. We have enough of those that with this reduced capacity, we can provide every fan, every donor, a chair back and that will basically allocate where they can sit made it real simple for our ushers made it simple for our fans you just know when you show up you can sit where there's a you know you're assigned to see but finding it it's in the chair back and if the ushers are trying to find someone who may not be sitting where they're supposed to and that would then you know be against our rules of trying to maintain social distancing they could find that person and say listen you're not sitting in a chair back we know it's pretty simple if you're not sitting in a chair back you're sitting where somewhere you shouldn't so it made that process easy from that standpoint.